the families of two men killed in Ruskin back in 2010 will have to wait a little longer to find out if someone will be doing time for their deaths. In 2010, Michael Keatley was charged with shooting six men and killing two of them. Keatley drove a neighborhood ice cream truck and was shot, attacked, and robbed shortly before this incident. Now, investigators say he was looking to get back at the person who did it and harmed the wrong people. And Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell joins us from the courthouse now with what attorney said during closing remarks. The prosecution saying this is an ice cream man turned vigilante murderer after he was attacked. The defense saying this is an innocent man who simply couldn't have done the crime. But in a saga that started in 2010, we still don't have a court decision. Six men shot, two men dead, and one on trial. The state of Florida has not proven their case. The defendant is guilty. The defense argued that this was a botched investigation and that they've got the wrong guy, saying Michael Keeley can't even operate a gun after injuries from being shot and robbed and that the witness statements are inconsistent. Confidence in an identification does not, and I remind you, does not equal to accuracy. The prosecution closed saying Keeley is a killer driven by revenge who, thinking he found the person who previously attacked him, ended up shooting innocent men despite his injury. He has the knowledge, the capability, the skill set <clears throat> to be able to modify a gun. All of the facts and all of the evidence in this case are overwhelming. And in a case that's gone on for over a decade, by the close of court on Friday night, there still isn't an answer for families who've been waiting since 2010. Now, the judge has ordered the jury to return to the courthouse to continue those deliberations Monday at 830. And until then, they have to avoid all contact with this case. In Tampa, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay.